What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Crypto Evolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Friday, October 18th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the dog rune token and the rune ecosystem because everybody is talking about dog. Everybody is talking about runes. Everybody's sharing data. Everybody's hosting Twitter spaces. Everybody's sharing articles and news reports sharing with you that the runes transaction volume is returning at full force. And we were very, very early on with the rune boom. Now, what is this all about? I'm going to share with you in this video my perspective and also all the updates happening right now as we speak. So before we begin, let's go ahead and smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page and please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So the dog rune token is still remaining at a 570 million mark cap. This is the main threshold. Basically, the bears are trying to keep the dog rune token below 570 million. It's been touching 570 million multiple times for almost a whole month, and it's waiting for a breakout. We've already talked about the charting analysis regarding the dog rune token. If you don't understand that, please check out our other videos previously of this past week to understand that. But I want to talk about other things that's happening with dog and runes. So dog right now is roughly around 130. 39 in terms of crypto ranking. But right now it's neck and neck with SPX 6900, which is Murad's favorite token. Now, when you look at the trading volume of the dog ring token, it's around $11 million, while the SPX token is trading around $28 million. Now, the reason this is important is because the, now the SPX 6900 token is on Ethereum and there's more trading volume, more user activity. But look at the dog rune token. There isn't as much dApps or basically swaps allowing people to buy runes in general. But nonetheless, the volume is still transferring over the dog go the moon token. It's a very small percentage of what Bitcoin's market cap actually is. Now let's look at the amount of unique holder counts for a dog. It actually reached a new all time high. Yes, believe it or not, we reached 92,000. So during this consolidation phase, which we saw here, we were seeing either new hands buying the bags of paper hands or just long term conviction holders just buying more basically. So I think this is absolutely healthy. And I like that there wasn't a sharp increase in amount of unique holders. So this to me is quite unique. We're actually having new holders. I think people who are just understanding or just kind of figuring out what runes are, are entering in and then getting through that learning curve are now into runes. So in other news, DogBTC, who covers the top 100 whale wallets, tracking all their user activity and also transfers, knows that wallet number 14 continues to accumulate more of the dog room. Just last time, this was around $1.4 million worth of digital assets within dog and also runestone ordinals, but has increased to 1.7, so they are stacking their bags. Now, who is talking about runes? I mentioned earlier that people are talking about runes, and one person is Ivan on Tech. He says, if you have many runes, you're bag will pump eventually. And who else? Well, guess what? Whale Mocha, who shared an amazing design and charting and analysis regarding Rune's ecosystem compared to other native change. Again, if you want to see that video, I'll put a link on the upper right hand side so you can get a preview of what that breakdown was like. But he hosted a Twitter space today. It was called Ticker is Runes. And one of the people that was very bearish around Runes was Ming Dynasty. Now, Ming Dynasty, his history is that he had a whole bunch of Bitcoin puppets. They pumped and he also had tokens and then they dumped. And so he was pretty much bearish on it. But most importantly, he flipped bullish on dog. I'm going to share with you a little snippet of what he said about that. Simple that you actually just turn off your brain and dog dog flip other dog is like a very simple narrative. So dog flip dog is a great narrative. I absolutely agree with him. But Binance ended up reporting that Dog Rune was the third largest token in the Bitcoin ecosystem, which I think is pretty big. And also Bitcoin Frontier Fund, which I like to give a shout out to Eric Lee, who shared the specific post. In this thing, it said runes currently occupy roughly 50% of the Bitcoin block space the first time since the halvening, which was back in April 20th. According to data from Dune Analytics and also another website called Alchemia.io, runes saw a huge surge in activity last week. The overall mark cap of runes increased by 150%. Isn't that crazy? And also CryptoSlate that reported just today says rune transactions made up over 10% of all Bitcoin network transactions in the past week, indicating a rising network engagement. Isn't that fascinating? And another post by Ord Data shared this in terms of DOG. They said, the DOG has shown a nice upwards trend in its buyer-seller ratio, increasing 1.10 over the past 30 days to 1.35 in the last three days, within a 24-hour ratio of 1.32, which signals a strong sustained bullish sentiment. Across all time frames, DOG outperforms the broader market, and interestingly, 
tokens with larger holder base performs poorly on this metric, demonstrating that a large number of holders alone doesn't drive performance. This peer group is a clear underperformer in this analysis across all metrics. While some hot tokens may outperform DOG in specific short-term windows, their long-term sustainability remains to be seen. So this is why long-term DOG is the bigger play. And if any centralized exchange is going to list any specific root token, it's going to be DOG. And the co-founder of Magic Eden had to say this. He says the developer mindshare starting to shift to Bitcoin is so incredibly bullish for how the Bitcoin on-chain economy can be. Already the biggest asset and more well-known by far, ordinals and runes are like one plus year old. Imagine what this looks like two, three years with way more builders. So when you can see the amount of interest for builders to flock to Bitcoin, yeah, this is gonna consume the amount of developers within Solana and Ethereum and all these other different chains are gonna flock over to the mother chain, which is Bitcoin. It's sooner gonna happen rather than later. Now let's talk about Magic Eden. So Magic Eden that we know of as of today is the number one marketplace for both ordinals and runes and believe it or not it is still decentralized and that's what they're going to capitalize on is that their deck swaps and everything that's happening with their magic eden wallet is allowing people to buy these different digital assets on chain and also decentralized away from centralized exchanges such as you know binance coinbase okx all these different centralized exchanges. Magic Eden is at the forefront of that and seeing the amount of sales garner a lot of interest even from Binance themselves. So they're seeing that amount of significant transaction in their rune sector. And I just wanna thank Zed for giving a quick shout out. Basically he was saying here that I show up every day with max positive vibes. I show up with content, but most importantly in the last sentence, he says, this is why I'm bullish on ordinals and runes. The grassroots fams is tight, full of people with high conviction. Let's convey that a little bit more. And there's none other than Farmer Joe that perfectly explains this. Bitcoin has trained its believers and holders to hodl. The psychological impact of its brand also affects the on-chain psychology of its holders for its assets. Runes and ordinals will be greatly impacted by this. And the reason that's important is because Bitcoin people are known to be hodlers. They don't just like trade in and out because things are so fast within ethereum within solana within polygon within base because of those fast transactions you don't really have a lot of long-term conviction holders but bitcoin just bitcoin alone is about long-term conviction holders for the holding long term so when people build products on top of the layer one on bitcoin that to me shows that there is a new audience of long-term conviction holders, both in ordinals and runes. And when I think of that, I think price go up nonetheless. So this is why I say study runes, study dog, study this ecosystem, study ordinals, because this is going to be the new meta this cycle. This is what people are gonna be flocking to this cycle. This is what the media, the mainstream media is gonna be covering on this cycle and you are early. And last but not least, I wanna remind everybody, tomorrow, Saturday, October 19th, Everybody, every dog holder is writing a letter on crypto Twitter, aka X, to their favorite exchange requesting and demanding a dog spot listing. Make sure to provide data, ask kindly, be respectful, make sure to educate the free and fair meta, and make sure to do that tomorrow. This is how it's gonna happen, and we're gonna make so much noise, and we will be heard, and we will dominate the X platform. So as a conclusion and statement, you just heard what I thought around the dog rune token. You've seen how everybody's talking about runes. Believe it or not, you are still very early. The amount of people talking about runes right now isn't everybody. Sooner or later, it's gonna be everywhere. And then the FOMO is gonna really kick in. Right now, people are only speculating. And believe it or not, the people that are hating on dog or hating on runes are slowly converting. And that soon will garner every attention from every other fudder and hater out there. So right now, you're perfectly positioned to get in early. So make sure to pick the right tokens. But for me, it's only dog or the moon. But maybe you could pick other things such as pups, billion dollar cat, who knows what there is out there. But just choose the one that you have long-term conviction in. For me, it is dog of the moon so just as a heads up i'm going to be on vacation from sunday all the way to wednesday of next week so i will not be making videos but do not expect those daily updates through monday through wednesday but until then i will see you when i get back so as always be sure to like up that button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding dog on the moon till then see you guys girls next time